Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And this morning, we're going to talk about what I had to go through to mail this letter to the FAA to try to buy an airplane. It's quite a tale. Please stand by. So we'd like to have you subscribe to our channel. Please hit the like button and notify so you can stay current with our latest content. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we want to talk about the project airplane that Matt and I have been trying to find for Yankee Aviation. Well, it's been a long, long process that we're going to talk about, but here's the envelope with the 8050-2 uh, and the 8050-1. So both the registration and the signed bill of sale from the estate of the uh, previous owner and this airplane will be transferred into my name so we can begin work on it and go get it. But anyway, that's just part of the story. The other part of the story is about a little bit of the history of this airplane. An elderly gentleman was flying it. Um, he ran arrears of his rent because he was in the hospital uh, with the airplane being in storage. So the um, FBO put a lien on the aircraft. When the owner found out about the lien, he paid the lien. And he even sued the owner way back 18 years ago to send in the release forms on the lien, which were never done. So we had to recontact the owner, and we'll get into that and what a fun tale that will be. So stand by. So as part of buying an airplane, I did what any owner would do. We ordered the FAA records on the CD-ROM of the aircraft, and this way we were able to look at the uh, CD-ROM and find out that there were liens and we had AIC title get involved and as I said this aircraft had liens on it because an elderly gentleman was flying it the FBO was assisting him with that purpose and he fell a little bit in arrears of both his hangar rent and paying for his flight lessons because he was in the hospital and when he found out about it um, he wanted to pay them and meanwhile the person with the liens or the person who was owed the money took him to court, they went to court, they paid the money. There was a cancel check through the attorneys and everything, and he kept the rec in his records, but yet the person with the ability to put the lien on there had filed the liens, but he never filed the release, even though he was ordered by a court to do it with prejudice 18 or 19 years ago. So anyway, these liens have been out there. So we finally contacted the lien holder and said, what's the deal? You had these liens on the aircraft, it needs to be sold with a clear title. Uh, it's on the uh, FAA CD-ROM, and we have paperwork from the uh, family of the estate that they paid you the money 18 years ago. He goes, oh, they were an aggravating family, and I didn't want to have to deal with them. He says, well, can we get you to sign the release? Oh, well, um, then he wanted more money, which he worked out a deal with the family, and then to add a cherry on top of the uh, entire insult, he wanted an apology letter, which they finally wrote and sent it to the guy, and he goes, okay. So he sent in the lien documents to uh, an escrow company. When they received the lien release documents, then they were releasing his money and his apology letter. So those papers were filed today with the FAA, so the lien release documents will be bound into the FAA records. So the next time we order the records on the aircraft it'll be a nice clean airplane and this is the airplane that now that we have the title and as you saw the envelope going off to the FAA that we're buying meanwhile now we have to get all the bits and pieces of the airplane and bring it down um, to our um, our shop so we can work on it and as you know we're going to be doing a series a weekly series of what we've done that week on the airplane so we're asking that you think about that as you're watching our channel and think about the upcoming series. Um, for the videos that we normally do, again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you personally for doing that. So as you saw that we've had some other videos on our t-shirts and stuff, we have some more nice items. We have the medallions, which I ordered as a key fob, but with the um, ribbons and all on them, uh, very American looking. We're going to go ahead and probably engrave the backs and make them door prizes or event prizes. Um, and then the other thing we just got in were our Grumman Pilot patches for your jacket or for your hat. So these are all available in the uh, store. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how you buy an airplane. And it can be complicated and it's not as easy as 
I'm going to do this, and then we're going to give some money and walk away with the keys. Now we have to go get the airplane and the keys and all the logbooks, which have been in storage for a number of years. But it's going to give Matt and I a chance to look through an airplane really well, and with the video series, allow you to see the process that we go through to put an airplane back together and everything that we check as we do it. And what we don't actually will have video to show you, we'll put in lists so that you can see what's going on behind the scenes. So ladies and gentlemen, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. For, oh wait. Okay. And so as always, thanks for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman. And in addition, there's a little treat about 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing web work and other stuff. Here's my cat coming down, playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night. So I thought I'd throw this into you as a little treat. Y'all, please enjoy.